five. <laughs> Apostle power. <laughs> Roman road. Roman bridge. Roman apostles. Walking with a um, group today and uh, I think day five we're all feeling a bit less chatty, a bit more tired, um, a few aches and pains, a few blisters, I only have the one but um, yeah and uh, your sore feet is a bit of an issue when you're walking on the rocky ground the feet take a bit of a pounding when you're walking on the road the sealed road your knees and ankles take a bit of a pounding the feeling I had last night I've never really felt before just this like dull ache in my knees and ankles it was it wasn't um, must be something like a marathon runner um, we're at the 16 kilometer mark today and I think we've only got about five kilometers to go um, nothing super profound to say today uh, just chipping along enjoying the views and um, the company um, one thing uh, from the chat yesterday with the French fella um, Bernard he um, he was saying you know in his work in um, HR one of the things that you know he focused on and realized the value of was diversity um, because of the infusion of different ideas and perspectives um, Swap hands so you can see me a bit better. Um, uh, he spoke about gender diversity, about um, you know place of origin diversity, um, and uh, he spoke you know that there are a lot of benefits and um, you know uh, it's been studied quite a lot and it's quite clearly a beneficial thing in the majority of contexts. the end of um, walking for day five. Uh, I've got the, the boots off. It's the best feeling ever. Um, yeah, my feet are definitely feeling it. Uh, I guess we've walked probably 110 odd kilometers by now. Um, maybe 120. And um, yeah, my body's not quite used to that kind of mileage in a week. Um, uh, I had some cool conversations in the afternoon. We were chatting with some some Italian people and um, tying in with what I actually said um, completely randomly about that chat with the French guy yesterday um, on diversity. Uh, uh, it was interesting their thoughts and what you know. Uh, I I told them um, the story that I'd experienced um, uh, working here in Europe. There was a, a director from the south of Italy um, and uh, he would sort of, you know, um, employ people from his region uh, doing, you know, pretty popular jobs um, to the point where there was over 50% of people from one region of, of Italy. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, um, and uh, let's say that the percentage increased during these redundancies so there was a level of protection in the tough times um, but also some really strange stuff like um, you know uh, a sailing buddy's daughter needs a, um, an internship and it's like yeah no worries <laughs> all that kind of stuff 
Um, but um, yeah, talking to these Italian people, they were from the, the, the north of Italy. They said it happens less in the north, but it still happens. Um, and actually, like, um, you know, in the south, it's um, completely normal. Um, so, you know, it's, it's sort of interesting to see how different people do things and um, in a way like be more um, have more acceptance of of why of, of how people do things with it maybe a little bit more understanding of why uh, I guess uh, ultimately you know Europe you know formed many thousands of years ago and many different cultures many different um, people and you kind of wanted people around you who, who were going to look after you um, because you you know you got your neighbors right next door and they speak a different language and they have a different way of doing things um, there's a lot of different peoples probably who've gone extinct uh, in the time here in, in Europe and lots of cultures have kind of been swallowed up um, which ties in a bit with what you, you see with the Basque country and the Catalan cultures trying to re-establish themselves when they were, they were quite suppressed for a while during the Spanish Civil War especially and, and after that during the time of Franco. Um, but yeah, obviously um, that, that European thing of um, getting your, your buddies in, um, I suppose there's a security in that and there's a, um, there's a feeling that you're less likely to have your kingdom toppled, you know. Um, so it makes it make a little bit more sense. Um, the downside, as we, uh, you know, as me and Bernard spoke yesterday, spoke about yesterday, was you're missing out on that diversity and that confluence of ideas um, and that mixture of ideas. You know, I guess none of that's to to try to excuse um, what what most countries would call reasonably blatant corruption. Um, but uh, certainly helps you understand things and put things into perspective. Um, you know, I guess which is reasonably you know therapeutic for me to be honest. After some experiences I've had, um, yeah. But uh, another day, another another good day, another you know reasonably tough day. Um, I think I was a bit sore after yesterday um, and yeah looking forward to chipping along tomorrow. Hasta luego.